I'm Rochelle Bernacki. And I'm Stephanie Harmon, and we co-lead the Women's Leadership Special Interest Group. I think the ultimate goal of the group is for us to make sure that women as leaders are um, at their highest and best purpose, supporting women to do the work that they're already so good at um, mm -hmm. and, and taking down some of the obstacles. And I think the other piece is, for me at least, is it's felt like a very supportive and safe space. I think we've both had experiences where sharing and um, having our voice be authentic and true in our work, in our leadership, has been a struggle. Recognizing this as a challenge and also something that will ultimately impact um, our patients and their families. So I think as we are in our different institutions and places where we work and live, that it can feel very lonely and isolated. And I think what this interest group has done for me as a leader has really invigorated me around um, kind of the experience of um, leadership as a woman and really challenged me to look at some of my own assumptions about myself, about my own power. And uh, my project was really kind of the integration of a uh, in vitro model of machine learning to predict mortality and how to harness that as a, uh, a way to enhance um, the clinical delivery of palliative care. And for me specifically, that, uh, that part of palliative care has been advanced care planning. In the two years, we've been able to do work validating this model basically trying out what it's like when clinicians uh, hear about several of their patients falling into this category of an opportunity for advanced care planning. And so now uh, the project has been essentially adopted and integrated into the quality improvement um, program for uh, clinical teams at Stanford Healthcare to create an interdisciplinary team that will be moving this forward to implement um, in, in hospital medicine. So I uh, co-founded a program called the Serious Illness Care Program, which guides clinicians through how to have conversations with their patients about what matters most and what, the, what their goals are. The fact that the country of New Zealand implemented the program or the province of British Columbia um, has really sort of blown my expectations. I uh, am just enormously grateful to the Cambia Health Foundation for one, funding me to do the work in the community of practice and now this kind of new chapter with the Women's Leadership Group, I feel like it's been uh, in many ways kind of a lifeline for my career.